Camping Today is really a story of success, but also a story of survival. Uh, we went into uh, the recession, the Great Depression, if you like, of uh, 2008, and uh, we started with 185 employees at that time, and we had to go down to a low of 42 employees. Today, we have 58 employees, and we're in a rebuilding, regrowing situation. The hardest part was saying goodbye, laying off 135 employees, it hit my heart. I know every employee here, I can tell you everything about something about their personal life. I know everybody puts every part and piece on every boat. So I'm very in tune with my people here, and I'm also very in tune with my dealer network and my suppliers. So ultimately it does come down to people and my love for the people, the love for the industry, and the real strong desire to see this business succeed, but grow again and become back where it was back in the pre-recession days. Campion has a very strong focus on uh, staying 30 feet and under. That's really what we do well. Uh, we feel when the economy goes for a rough time, it's usually for the boats that are 30 feet and over. We always feel that there is some demand for boats between 16 and 30 feet. Uh, we have diversified through this whole uh, downturn very extensively. We've added new boat lines. Most of you are familiar with the Alante, the Chase and the Explorer lineup. Uh, we found opportunities in this downturn to add Safara. Uh, the SV3 model, a tow boat for wakeboarding and surfing. We also took on the Infinite uh, electric boat line and then we also added the Rhinel boat line, a brand that had been around the Northwest for 80 years and we've just added that to our stable. Innovation has always been a constant at Campion. Over our 41 year history, we've always brought new product to the market. During this downturn, we've had to even innovate even harder and stronger. Development of the world's first fiberglass pontoon boat. Uh, we developed the world's first electric outboard 180 horsepower motor. We found uh, ways to make our people employed and to keep them busy. Uh, we brought in a number of boats that weren't even Campion boats here and refurbished them, rebuilt them, and to keep our people employed here. In 2009, we were approached by Ashland Chemical Company, uh, our gel coat and resin supplier, and we were flattered they approached us and uh, they asked us to experiment with a new product called Enverez. This is a bio resin where 20% of the petroleum resin has been removed and substitute with 10% corn oil and 10% soya bean oil. Uh, we've now been using this product since 2010 and we're just delighted with it. What got us on the path to going green was I got approached by a gentleman named Mark Hayho out of Ontario. He approached me and asked if we would build the world's first bio resin biodiesel boat. I didn't really know what that meant, but I said yes, I would investigate it. And long story short, in 2010, we built Mark, the world's first bioresin, biodiesel boat, and he's now had that boat on the water in the Muskokas for the last five years. After I returned from Ontario uh, on the airplane uh, coming home, and I had one of those aha epiphanies, saying, what, what if we became the greenest boat builder in the world? Uh, we had been at that time on lean manufacturing for seven or eight years, and basically what I did, I had my napkin out, and I sketched out the guide plan for my management team as to how we would become green following the practices and principles we learned through becoming a lean manufacturer. Uh, since then we've, it has led to many other opportunities and uh, such as the electric 180 horsepower outboard motor and a complete new selection of raw materials to make our boats the greenest and the best in the world. Another thing that happened that's been very exciting is we got approached by Rex Jardine, one of our shareholders, the son of Ross Campion Jardine, and uh, he had decided that he was going to advance his company Vector Power Boats further from the 28-foot bat boat that they built into a 40-foot pleasure boat. We built the molds for that boat and we did the fiberglass work and the upholstery work on that boat. That's a very exciting million dollar plus boat. And then from there it went on, the Rex had the opportunity to build the Lucas Oil Racing Boat and we built that one and we just have built the one for the Martini Racing Group and this has all been additional cash flow to Campion to help us get through the tough times and it's been an exciting project to work with Rex on this. What is the success of Campion? First is passion. I'm very passionate about this business. I emit that passion to all of my employees, to all of my dealers, to all of my suppliers. So next comes the people and the people is not only the people here working at the factory who embrace the passion but they also embrace a strong work ethic, but it's also the people who supply us. It's our suppliers who give us new opportunities, such as Ashland Chemical Company with the bioresin, uh, working with Regen Nautica on the electric outboard motor, uh, various suppliers coming up with new innovative products for us to always be on the leading edge. But it's also the people being our dealers, our support through these tough times. 
recognizing our dealers as our really at the bloodline of our business and really being passionate about those dealers and, the, and their families and their businesses, all those sort of things. And then it comes down to basically the retail customer, making sure that they really enjoy the experience of owning their Campion, not just buying it, but owning it afterwards, treating them. We have 30,000 Campions in 30 countries around the world. We don't have one unhappy customer. I will not go to bed until they are looked after. Next and last is obviously pride. I'm very proud of this organization. I'm very proud of the company. I'm very proud of the product. I'm proud of the people. And I think that just goes through the whole thing. When you see the boats being built, they're built with pride. Thank you.